Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back Ralph's Automotive. I cannot resist but to show you this. Uh, real quick video. This is a real quick video. Uh, I'm going to show you why direct injection, if it's just a direct injection uh, that shoots down into the cylinders, why it is uh, bad on intakes and uh, why so many heads require the cleaning after uh, a low low amount of miles i'm going to get the uh camera set up on the tripod i happen to have a engine sitting right here in the floor that's fixing to go inside the vehicle and i looked in the i took the intake off to give it a little bit of cleaning i thought well you know this make a great video to show you just why direct injection is so bad for the uh, intake valves so, bear with me. So, I wanted to try and keep that camera as steady as I could possibly keep it. So, first of all, have a look at the intake runners right here. Uh, how black they are, which is normal. Nothing wrong with that. And here we can actually see a shot of the valves. Uh, and then you can also see there is a clean part. Let me get the light position where we can see a little bit better. Uh, there's a clean part right there. The reason for that is because that is where a conventional injector sprays its fuel and therefore it keeps the valves and everything clean as well. And that is the one thing that does not happen on a direct injected fuel system. The problem is that direct inje injection, as the name suggests, the injects directly into the cylinder and therefore everything that's black right here is actually going to build up on your valves the valves are going to be the hottest part <clears throat> because they're directly in the chamber they get hot and all that stuff starts baking all this black sooty stuff starts baking into the onto the valve i should say not into the valve starts baking onto the valve and over time it just clogs everything up and makes a poor running uh condition so, but anyway, I figured i share that with you guys. Get that back to a regular zoom level. As you can see, same on all the cylinders. So, you see, clearly see where the fuel injector sprays and where it doesn't spray. Uh, I hope that's really, really clear. You know, I've tried to get the lighting. It's, it's hard to get the right amount of lighting in there. But anyway, I think that's pretty clear. I'm out. Till next time.